Here we are, drifting on an open sea. Here we are, Mino Giga Jabe. Good morning. I think we're calling this quitting weed number three. Today is, um, or is it the fourth one? I, I'm losing track now. Today is Friday, July, whatever. I can't remember. Um, I quit smoking weed on Monday. And I've been, this is my video diary, sharing the uh, withdrawal symptoms and what I'm going through. If for no other reason to kind of hold myself accountable. How's it going? Not well. Um, I'm very depressed and full of anxiety. I have the runs. I wake up multiple times at night with cold sweats. My hands are sweating right now. And I've lost my faith, I think. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Lyons. And uh, I, I'm the creator of Buju Nana Buju, the unknown Ojibwe language pod, puppet podcast that teaches Ojibwe language and culture to about a dozen people in the world. I've been doing the show for over four years, full time. I mean, in my own life, about six or seven years since it started. I've also written and illustrated a number of children's books, coloring books, comic books, many that teach Ojibwe language. And uh, I've come to a point in my life, a life crisis, a spiritual crisis, health crisis. I don't know what to call it. Um, I guess I was sort of hoping that this would be the beginning of something new. I could become somebody who overcame drugs and alcohol and is here to help share my wisdom and my, you know, experience with others to help them on the road to sobriety and happiness and fulfillment. But <laughs> that's never going to happen because I don't know anything about happiness. I don't know anything about love. I'm 56 years old. I've never had a girlfriend. Meaning I've never been loved by a woman, including my mother. Uh, maybe that's what this video should be. Why, why did I become a drug addict? Yeah, so it's Friday. I, I quit smoking weed on Monday. Now it's Friday. Yay for me. I haven't relapsed yet. I can't promise that's not going to happen. Because I don't even know where to start. I'm not going to tell you my whole backstory and catch up to speed. But last night, like every night of my life, I've prayed to God to please help me. Uh, 
you know, help me overcome, help me endure these withdrawals, help me stay, help me find the red road, the Misqua Mikana, as they call it in Ojibwe. I want to have a better life. I want to feel better. I don't even need to understand why my life has been what it's been. But I, I, I cried like I have every day for the last four, what is it, five days. To him, one of the main issues, and I think why I have smoked pot so relentlessly, isn't just that I have an addictive nature. It's I have a huge emptiness, hurt, loneliness, and confusion. And I was praying to God last night. It's like, please show me that you're that you care. Bowie has a song called "Can You Hear Me?" I'm always singing. Can you? Hear me, can you, you know, whatever. And I think he's singing about God. Can you hear me? I learned yesterday that your real name is Yahuwah. And I forget what Yah means and Huwa means, but, you know. And apparently the Bible teaches that if you pray, if you seek God in the name of Jesus, you will find him. Knock and the door shall be opened. God loves you. I've been watching a lot of these religious videos talking about chosen ones. That God and Jesus love us. And, and some of us are chosen. And he's coming back. And if you're feeling isolated and blah, 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 it's... That's what happens to the chosen. But I have no reason to think I'm chosen. I have no reason to believe that he cares at all. So I prayed again. Please. You, you know, you don't have to just let me know that you can hear me. But you're there. Nope. Not a fucking thing. <laughs> I'm not going to post this video. <laughs> Fuck. How do you wake up and <laughs> immediately have an emotional breakdown? Who does that? <laughs> it's hilarious. And now my thumb is killing me. This isn't going to work, is it? All right.